considering that overheating issues plagued the Sony Xperia Z3 Plus and Sony Xperia Z4, with warnings seen on the display of the latter model before it would shut down, it makes you wonder why Sony would turn again to the Snapdragon 810 chipset for the Sony Xperia Z5, Sony Xperia Z5 Compact and Sony Xperia Z5 Premium. A teardown of the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium revealed that Sony put in dual heat pipes, and applied thermal paste directly on the chip in order to keep the rising temperature from becoming an issue. Assuming that the manufacturer did this to all three Xperia Z5 models, it apparently did not give buyers of the phones enough protection. Reports today out of China say that the Sony Xperia Z5 Compact is running hot. When the temperature starts to rise, the screen starts to become sluggish with a lag in registering touch inputs. In some cases, touches don't register at all. Some users are saying that rebooting the handset doesn't always fix the problem. Sony could send out an update, but all it would do is throttle the chipset in order to bring down the temperature. Still, it might be the only short-term solution. It looks like those manufacturers who decided to go with the Snapdragon 808 chipset with its hexa-core CPU and Adreno 418 GPU, like LG, did the right thing. LG even went to the Snapdragon 808 SoC on its new multimedia monster, the LG V10. And for once, BlackBerry isn't being criticized for its plan to use the Snapdragon 808 chipset on its upcoming Priv slider, instead of using the Snapdragon 810. A Sony Xperia Z5 Compact owner recently took a video displaying the touch issues he is having with the phone.